one. Okay, I'm gonna start loading, reloading this kill with some of the flints, and it takes about four buckets, and that's what we got. Some of these will be uh, have greens in them, and some will just I just lay them in there. A lot of them will have green in it from these here, and then these are these will not have much green in them. I'll try to get some of this stuff in there. Yeah, some of these, a lot of the the higher grade ones, I put in the bottom because the heat rises, so it they might not put as much. You can see, like that one will have uh, greens and. It uh, looks like it has about a star pattern there. We can, yeah, we'll lay it out here and then I'll put it on top and we'll see what. These are just pretty common rocks that I'm putting in there. And a lot of them are lavatory, a tumble rock, just bits and pieces, but I need them all because of the, the rarity of the greens. So it, when you get green print, you save every piece of it. That one even shows the oranges and the olive greens before I even get it heated. And a lot of them do. Those are real, has, will have pattern. Greens, greens and orange, and more green. Here's some cap rock. You can see the orange with the greens already in it, and a little bit of the cortex. The cortex usually on these flints so is just a little bit. You can see it's not very thick. Those nab unheated. I'll lay it out here, but I'm not sure I want to heat that and whisk it. And it, it takes a lot to even load the kill because it's so. I just have to. So I'll put more. This is more of the same type flints. Yeah, we're down, getting down to the last bucket, or just about to the top of the kiln, and we've got some that I've got laying here and over there. We'll we'll uh, show you those as well. More than we'll lay them on top, so you can see what they'll come out like. Now this most of these here will probably just turn white. This is from the the big corn that we just worked in. It's got some color. This is just a, a good nab material. It's not big color, but it's, you can see it has them lines running through it, like striped, like the nether spoon does. But it's from a complete different area. Okay, now we got a couple we want to put on top yet to see how those uh, come out. Right. Here we have uh, some I want to put on top and then we'll show them when they're heated. And this is topping off the kill. So we can stack them in there as best I can. And you know, so they'll have grays and greens and blues. And there's the one with the star. and a couple of white splotches be pretty interesting. And there's a blue and a green one. That's it. So now we're going to close the lid and fire it up. Programmable kill. So I got these numbers all programmed to what I want. And uh, already 
had to stop it. Okay, now we go back. Um, okay, now I type in the user one, which goes to 250 degrees in an hour. And it'll hold it for about six hours. Then it'll go to 25 degrees till it's at 535 degrees and it'll hold it for 14 hours then I, it, it automatically shuts off and then it takes about two days to cool it and we're ready to go this, these are the flints that I do not sell because they're so rare with these patterns that I nap them myself and as you can see, so that's why I spent uh, a lot of money just to dig these flints and time just to get these certain flints for my personal use. And then like this one here, these are just flints that I might get a half a dozen of these here in a year's time. And then some of them might have crystals in it where they will not even nap. So they're that hard to get. It's, it's more rare than gold. And we're out.